All right, folks, the deck is Death Rattle Undead Demon Hunter. The goal of the deck is to use Abyssal Depths to draw into Vandar Stormpike, reducing the cost of a lot of our Death Rattle minions so that they can be pulled from our deck with the Death Speaker Black Foilern and then brought back to life with Nizoth the Corruptor. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle or here on YouTube. Watch this! All will serve Okay, I think uh, with the coin, I just want to like look hard for the Vandar. Abyssal Depths is a Vandar, but unfortunately, like doesn't allow me to coin it. We have turned our curse into our strength. So I'm probably looking to coin the uh, Blackthorn if I can. I assume they have one of the two mana undead guys. Yeah, but where that? Yeesh. Uh, there was a moment where I considered the I beam first just to heal up a little bit, but it didn't seem worth. Good. How would you design a monk class in this game? I'm not the person to ask about that. I'm not a game designer, and I didn't ever even play the monk class in WoW, so. I don't have any idea. The clan in Everybody needs a casket. I don't have that many taunts left in my deck, do I? So I think I need to clean up a little bit before... Um before I just rip the Blackthorn. It's a little bit risky here. Yeah, welcome to Salt. Zoth is a live draw, but wow. Not even sure how much that helped me. Uh, Grave Strength is concerning. our Nazoth better, as well as makes our next turn better, we can go 2-6. Um, or 2-6. Two, and then I get to sneak in the Nazoth the turn before they play the, want to play the Astolar. Hey, welcome, Arvis. Everybody needs a casket. Yeah. Two. 
Take five, heal six. This curse has become our it's Glenn. Alright, surely, surely we don't just take 16 straight to the face, right? Actually predicted Death Knight's success uh, um, on the podcast, even though it wasn't very good early in the expansion. Yeah, there was a lot of refinement that needed to be done, as well as, like, the metagame shaping out the way that it did um, helped with it, because, I mean, to be honest, discard Warlock was kind of keeping everything at bay, so. Uh, Marigar would also be a bummer here. For me. That's leaving a lot of power on the board, isn't it? We have one more big threat to worry about here with the uh, Astalor. music. Should be in a pretty good spot from here. It's Marogar himself undead. That would be a <laughs> pretty nutty high roll. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of Amalgam being run in this deck, but I don't know. It feels like there are a lot of really big woofs on uh, when it comes to like undead minions. Sure, that's gonna solve things for them. Not enough mana. Whoops. I know how to count. Considered Sylvanas for this deck. Uh, no. The thing about Sylvanas is that she's not very good. 
Not that this deck is trying to be good, but she's not really in line with what this deck wants to do. Speaking of Sylvanas. Hunter is likely Beast Hunter, so try and set up a wall of taunts. I alone will shield my people. And full keep this hand. We sure do have some uh, lifesteal removal cards, don't we? Not that it mattered, but it was using deaths to draw Belcher, playing that, and I being better. Uh, there was no guarantee on hitting the Belcher, and I had that play on the follow-up, assuming, like, the Flesh Behemoth died in a way that was expected. You want Rogue to get obliterated? Uh, no. I don't think that classes should be nerfed into unplayability. I don't think that's a good... Gold to set. And Rogue isn't really that oppressive in Wild. All these spells and nothing to point them out. Can't leave the buzzard on the board, so gonna have to clear it probably with the fell screen blast. Shock spinner hunter relevant in wild? Uh, no. Primarily, people play beast hunter because that's a really good deck. I know I don't get the lifesteal off of this, but still pretty good at clearing that stuff, and I think I have enough lifesteal. The fact that we drew both of the Fugan and the Stalag makes this a little bit more reliable in hitting some of our taunt minions, which we'll likely want. Surprisingly, I actually have an answer to a Hydralodon, but this looks like a, uh, yeah, Tavish. No Ilganoth in this deck. Nope. Ilganoth does not make sense in this deck for a wide variety of reasons. Let's get the sturdy boy down first. Could be a freezing trap. Any plans for quest Arena Dragon Priest? Uh, there are plans for a deck with some of those words in it. Uh, I should have thought about the Tundra Arena damage. It's 19. Kind of a lot. We're going to find out what the meta wild decks are. Um, I would recommend going to Vicious Syndicate. Um, I believe they are releasing a meta report soon. Yeah, 
Let's just avoid any accidents here. any beasts that silence, right? I might have to kill that because of like a Tundra Rhino. Like, I don't... Oh my god. Owl? Yeah, but that's not going to be running in the deck, so... Not too worried about that, I just still don't want to take too many risks here. Starfish, Starfish, possible, more possible than Owl, but still pretty unlikely. That's not like a metagame that wants a lot of silence in it right now. Andres, thank you for the super chat. Rono Kalag, you are making me sad. Also, hi Ruffle. Hello. Yeah. I need to find in the Zoth soon. Levon is probably more common than either, not in uh, this deck. Please get me some apple bombs. Okay. Should be pretty good from here. I would really like to draw an Azoth though. Always Misha? Yeah, the opponent is really good at rolling taunts. No Nazoth? I mean, I just talked about how I need to draw it. Yeah, fight like a storm fight. Ooh. Basano, thank you for the super chat. GG Ruffle. I was that hunter. Hey GG. Was so excited to run into you. Love your vids and streams. You got me into wild. Hey, happy to hear that. Glad you're enjoying the content and as a nail biter of a game, so GG indeed. Ah, I see you brought guests. Oh. This is not the deck I was expecting. And not the hand <laughs> that I need for this matchup. Ugh. Blood Death Knight? Uh, that would probably be the best guess when they're running Renathal. But difficult to say for sure. Okay, well. The storm sure. That uh, significantly increases my chances of winning in this matchup, I think. Uh oh, that kind of reduces my chances of winning. Got plenty of clears to spare here. My blood for the Lich King. Oh. 
That's a top deck now, isn't it? Oh my god. Grant Smith, thank you for the very generous super chat. How do you rock this is for all the great free content you provide for us. Hope you have a great 2023. Hey, you too. Thank you for that very generous support and uh, glad you're liking the content. Let's get these down and try and stay as sticky as possible. Uh, we have not yet seen a duplicate. Hmm. It's still net positive in terms of the damage that we do here. Well, just what I needed is more board clears. I wish uh, getting the next ass the lore was a death rattle so you could silence it and have more time to prep. Yeah, that would make him a lot worse, as we saw with, like, Pyros, for instance. Which I think he could stand to be much worse. Oh! Okay, I need to find a minion here, or... I'm going to lose the plague guys. Oh no, I lose them anyway. Good turn by the opponent. I set that up nicely to... Um ensure that I didn't maintain consistent value. Not Reno, though? Good call. That is the second Venomous Scorpid. That paired with the Astellar kind of applies a decent amount of pressure. Jeez, speaking of. Wait. Oh! Finds new strength in freedom, Shade. God, I'm just getting bullied right now. Gotta go fast. Just like Sanic. Your souls belong to the That is a top deck and a half. Oh my god. The more you strap out, the better. They need like corpse explosion here. I don't think that solves it, does it? Oh my god, Exactes. Wow. Well played by the opponent. They actually played that very well. And what is this deck trying to do, Ruffle? Uh, cheat out a wall of big taunt minions so that we don't die to aggro. And Sylvanas does not 
like Sylvanas would be a disaster into aggro decks, which is a large portion of the metagame right now. And there really aren't matchups where Sylvanas is actually going to meaningfully change the outcome. I get people trying new things with Death Knight, but with their already limited card pool, why have what you can use? Because uh, even Death Knight is far and away the best Death Knight in the wild format, and arguably one of the top decks in the format, so. Because they're trying to win, I guess is the answer. Welcome, wow. Alright, we just always top deck the Bandar here, right? Looking at this hand, it looks like a win. I don't know if this hand is going to be enough. I like, I need more. Um, because Pirate Rogue is pretty relentless. Never bring a sword to a fish fight. Never bring a sword to a fish fight. Could actually be a pretty good time for a Vandar. Actually great for me. Oh my god. Okay. Now we're in business. Because of this slow turn and this top deck, I think we can potentially get there with a Nizoth draw in particular. We're looking pretty gross into Nizoth. Uh actually I probably should have played this one. It's a small thing, but it makes it more likely that the I-Beam gets offline soon. We get tired of Pirate Rogue all the time. Even when I play a deck that beats it. Owner, thank you for the super chat. Could you please tell us, also on YouTube, if a deck is worth crafting or playing for ladder? Cause I've played most of your decks and they are crap. Still love you though less than three. Sounds like a skill issue to me. Uh, thank you for the support. Um, generally, it's probably safe to assume that my decks are, and always have been, meant to be played for fun. So I would not recommend crafting the vast majority of the decks that uh, I play. Plus, do you have the most wins with? <sighs> no idea. Maybe Warlock or Mage? It's not something I keep track of. It's not the deck. I mean, sometimes it is, like, I don't know, it depends, like, I feel like 
most of the time by looking at the cards that are included in the deck, you can get a good assessment of whether or not it's meant to be serious or not. Why is the rug still here? No idea. We played Renounce Darkness after the latest expansion. People say getting Death Knight just sucks for Renounce. I mean, I would like to enjoy getting it just because it seems fun. Maybe when you play Odd Stoplight Death Knight, it could be the deck. Here's the thing, though. I'm pretty sure I finished with like a 75% win rate of that, so... Wouldn't really be the deck's fault then, would it? That said, that deck was atrocious and I wouldn't recommend playing it, but I can never play a large enough sampling of games to like actually give an accurate assessment of what the deck is capable of, you know? Widow Baker, thank you for the super chat. Phenomenal turn. Unbelievable. We finally done it. Hey, thank you, Widow. Appreciate you stopping by. Oh, they found Lethal. Thank you to legendary supporters Battlefly, Bryant Huynh, Fizzle Jizzix, Justice Crater, Cathandrian, Nate Drex, Saga, Shadow1TV, and Sognisman. 